is Brighton to Tropics, powered by Bose Electric. Hurricane Helene is here. The NHC upgrading the system moments ago to a Category 1 hurricane with a track that takes it through Florida's Big Bend as a major hurricane off. <sighs> yeah, it's getting kind of scary. We've been kind of watching. I'm sure I've had a few people asking me now, Gal, how are, how are you guys doing down there in Florida? So I just wanted to update everybody. Um, kind of excuse me, I haven't had a shower today or anything. I'm waiting to take a shower till tonight because we've been told that, you know, depending on how things go with the electricity, uh, it may, we may be without electricity for a while and not be able to take a shower and things like that. So we're going to do it tonight. <laughs> Um, but we're doing okay. This is our first time, our first rodeo of going through any kind of hurricane preparation. So this has been interesting. You know, we're trying to take it kind of in a lackadaisical attitude, I guess, because a lot of our neighbors have been through this many times and have been telling us, oh, don't worry, it's going to be fine. And it does sound like most of it is going to the west of us. And unfortunately, there's going to be people over there that get damaged you know, it's, it's sad, but we are going to have a lot of winds here and you never know from what I've been told, things can switch last minute too. So we want to be prepared. Um, but they said we might have gusts of up to 70 miles an hour here. That's just gusts. So, but it's still a lot, especially when you're living in an RV, <laughs> right? So we're trying to prepare. Ron went out and put away all the yard stuff um we just have a few plants out there still we need to put in his shed um and i've been kind of going through i've just made a list of all our emergency phone numbers which somebody said you should have on hand just in case you have to leave in a hurry you know because who knows right you know what could happen and um if you have to get evacuated or something um you'll have those especially for insurance so that's another thing i need to do yet today i need to make a video of everything in our home base here because we have had a few updates since I did that other video so I want to make sure I have a good video just for myself so if something did happen I could show the insurance company and be able to remember okay what did we have <laughs> you know for computers or like um, we just got this washer and dryer and I do have a video coming out on that shortly of, of how we got that installed but so some updates, we wanna get that done. So I'll be making a video about that today. Let me show you here what Ron's been up to. Okay, there's a uh, hurricane coming. So I gotta tie this gazebo up. So it won't blow away or whatever, tip over. So what I've been using is this thing is 14 inches long. I gotta tie it down. Yeah, I use this rope, not string, but rope. We got everything here, at least to stay alive. And the time that we share makes it all worthwhile. tied down so hopefully it should do the job that too those two I hope so okay I'll see you guys in a couple days and see how that the CB holds so that's what Ron's been up to. Now I'll show you a few more things I'm working on here. I We're gonna tonight make a huge batch of popcorn in our popcorn mic maker over here and keep that on hand for snacks because of course we won't have any electricity and um, 
Probably won't be able to do much cooking. Ron's gonna go get our little propane heater out of our other camper, which is right on property here, so it's not far to go, but we're gonna keep that in, on hand in case we do lose electricity for a couple days or something, just so that we have a backup source of power uh, if I wanna heat something up. I was thinking, especially for my tea in the morning, <laughs> I need to have my tea. That's my wake up. But, uh, you know, we're going to just eat simple meals, paper plates, you know, because obviously we won't be able to um, wash dishes probably if we can't heat the water. We do have an electric water heater here, but even so, I mean, if we lose power, um, for a while, and they say we might, depending on the storm, then we won't be able to do those normal things like take a hot shower or do dirt, do dishes or wash our hands even probably. But I froze, I'm freezing a couple bags of water. Oh, they're almost frozen already. Just Ziploc bags, because now if the power does go out, this is gonna help. And I have one big, plastic container like a gallon size back there too you can't see it full of water um that'll help keep things cold at least for the short term so we don't lose everything in the freezer ron and i don't eat meat so that helps a little bit because you know veggies it's not as big of a deal if you lose power for a little while um but you know just to be safe and i did put a couple gallons of water in there and I'm gonna be making a couple batches of some food later today that we can just refrigerate and eat on for a couple days. <laughs> Cause not planning on doing a whole lot of cooking, just simple things, but. So little lady is pretty much ready for the storm here, I think. We got the cat's little collars with our phone number on here now. I think they're getting used to them. Just in case they ever were to get separated from us in a storm for some reason, you know, I was thinking, well, obviously if a tree fell on us or something, right? <laughs> Who knows? In the pandemonium, one of the cats could get out a window or you just never know. You just don't know what could happen. So we want to be prepared. We don't want to lose our, our little friends here. Snuggles is up here sleeping on the bed. But yeah, I think, you know, I think we're pretty ready. They say you should have like a little suitcase packed. My buddy, he doesn't care. He got to go for his daily walk, so he's good. <laughs> um, a little suitcase pack, just in case anything happens and you need to flee quickly. So I don't know. It seems like overkill kind of, but maybe I'll just at least have a few things kind of out and ready so we could grab and go and some water and what have you. We, <laughs> we went around, went to the store and they say you should have one gallon of water per person per day and have at least a 10 day supply ready in case. So he went and got two cases of, you know, the small bottles of water. And then he got, I don't even know, there's probably 12 gallons under there. I've got a couple in the fridge too, under our kitchen table. <laughs> We're just using every spot we can right now to store water <laughs> so I think we're ready I think we're ready you know right now it's just starting to cloud up it, it was beautifully sunny this morning but it's just starting to cloud up a little bit now um, they're predicting you know we could get a little rain later today as those early bands come through but right now we're still just in a tropical storm warning we're right on the edge of the hurricane warning though. So if it were to move at all, I mean, that could change obviously. But right now it's just cloudy. So we're gonna stay here and hunker down. You know, we did hesitate for a while. We were thinking, gee, maybe we should leave. You know, we do have our travel trailer here, which is nice to have as a backup. We could just take that and tow it somewhere and find a campground for far away, maybe toward the East Coast or somewhere and that would have electricity. Our main reason for doing that would be because if we are without power for a long time, we won't have any air conditioning. 
And you know, it's only 84 here today, but with the heat index, it's it's a lot hotter. I think yesterday it got up to 100 for the heat index. So it would get pretty hot in here pretty quickly. Um, so we're gonna just hang in here as long as we can anyway. Maybe make some paper fans, <laughs> the old school, and just see how we do. Um, but yeah, I, I think we'll be okay. I think we're gonna be fine. You know, we've we've got flashlights ready to go. If it, you know, if it should get really dark, we've been powering up all of our electronics because I know you can use those as a source of light as well. You know, as your laptop or something. If we need that, I've got a couple candles, so we'll be okay. I think we're going to be fine, but we'll try to get on here and update you as things change. You know, when it does start to storm, storm maybe we'll show you a little peek of that, just so you can see what 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 it's like out there. It's really calm right now. Maybe it's the calm before the storm, as they say. But yeah, right now, there's no winds or anything. So it's just hard to believe that by tomorrow, I think they're saying maybe towards noonish, early afternoon, Thursday, tomorrow, um, is when we'll start seeing the, the heavier stuff, the, the winds and what have you. But anyway, thanks for asking those of you who are checking on us, and we'll try to keep everybody posted. Take care. Oh, by the way, number one, we've got God on our side, right? We've been praying. We know we're going to be okay. So, but thanks again for watching and take care and God bless. When it all breaks down, I'll wait for you right here. And I swear